Immunization Clinic is part of the Cumberland County Department of Public Health and our role is to prevent disease by giving vaccines that do that. School immunizations are a very important part of what we do in public health. There are certain requirements at different ages and grades for shots for school children. The kindergartners typically have to have around three shots. Some of them have to have five. The sixth graders at this time are required to have one. And we don't require any for the other grades. There are recommended shots for the other grades. The college students also have a set that they need and it varies college to college. The kindergartners, the shots that generally they are required to have for second grade include the MMR, which is measles, mumps, and rubella. They also need the hepatitis B, which at this time would be their third hepatitis B, and what we call the, the DTAP, the fifth DTAP, which is diphtheria, um, tetanus, and acellular pertussis. Some of the children may need their last polio shot, and some of them also may need a chickenpox or varicella shot. Now the sixth graders right now are required to only have a Tdap shot, which is similar to the DTAP, and we have to work not to confuse those two. The Tdap shot is tetanus diphtheria and acellular pertussis. Those are the shots that are required at this time for the K through 12 children. For the college age, most of the colleges will require that they have the Tdap if they have not already. They recommend other shots to include the HPV, which is the human papillomavirus, as well as meningitis. Some colleges require hepatitis A. And also during the year, we, were, we would like to see everyone get a flu shot. I don't want to leave the adults out because we have some issues in our country with getting adults to, to get their shots. As the newspaper article mentioned the other day is that the college age student thought he was done with his shots, but, but you're not. When you're an adult, we'd love for everyone to get a flu shot. It does make such a difference to stay well during the year uh, with your flu shot. But if you are an adult who has small children in the house, particularly babies, it is recommended that you get a Tdap, the tetanus shot as well. Um, and we'd like for those adults who are over around the age of 55 or 60 to get the shingle shot, or it's also called the zoster. It's a, a stronger version of the chicken pox shot. And also adults need pneumonia shots. So there are still plenty of shots that adults do need and we do recommend them and, and would love for, to see our vaccination rates in the country rise with adults. The Vaccines for Children program is a state program that helps provide children with required and needed vaccines if, especially if they cannot pay for it. There are certain eligibilities that you have to meet in order to be qualified for a state vaccine. Um, and again, it is a state program. You have to be uninsured, underinsured, um, or one of uh, certain ethnic groups to include Pacific Islanders, Alaskan Natives, or, or American Indian Natives. I'd like to uh, remind everyone that since school is starting, it's September now, and, and we want to make sure all the children stay in school so they can learn. There is a deadline that the state has set by law of 30 days that you have to have, have your child vaccinated. The 30th date deadline for our uh, traditional schools is the 24th. That's the last day of September that they can stay in school without the shot that they need. Uh, on September 25th, they can't come back unless they bring that proof with them. And we certainly don't want anybody to miss school. So if you um, might not be able to get an appointment with your doctor or uh, you can call and certainly tell them what you need, they will probably try to fit you in. There are a lot of other clinics, urgent cares and things that might be able to serve you, but we definitely can meet your needs at the health department. We do not have appointments. It is a walk-in clinic only. We are open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 11.30 and 1 to 4.30. We're open Tuesday evenings until 6.30 p.m. and we are open on Fridays from 8 until 11.30. Again, no appointment is necessary. You do not have to have a prescription or a doctor's order to come in and get the shot uh, or whatever shots you may need. All we need for you to do is come in and tell us what you're there for and we'll look at your shot record if you have one. We do suggest when you come in that you bring your insurance card as well as your shot record so we can see if you need that shot or do we just need to give you proof you already had that shot. The cost for vaccines varies widely depending on your insurance, whether or not we can file for your insurance, and also on your eligibility for certain programs. So rather than discussing cost and maybe missing one, I'd like to recommend that if someone has a question 
about a cost or whether or not their child or they themselves are eligible for a program, for them to call the Health Department Immunization Clinic at 910-433-3633. We do file Medicaid. We file North Carolina Health Choice Health Check. We accept, of course, Medicare and Blue Cross Blue Shield. We file those as well. I would like to mention that along with the shots, the kindergartners need a kindergarten health assessment. And that is also a requirement within the 30 day period of start to school. And if they need a physical and they don't have a primary care physician, they should call the health department um, and see if the child health clinic can see them. Or they can also call any of the urgent cares. They may be also able to help them. That form is a state required form. The date for that form is 111. Um, and that's the one that we have to accept by law with the schools. So let me tell you where we're located. We're located at the Cumberland County Department of Public Health. We're on the first floor and the health department is located at 1235 Ramsey Street. We are across the parking lot from the Department of Social Services. And again, our phone number is 910-433-3633. We do have a website and that is www.co.cumberland.com. Dot nc .us, and you'll find our uh, you'll find the health department within the menu.